Hi, I'm Kasper Surtis. Uh, I'm coming from the database group uh, at CERN. So yesterday you heard a talk from uh, Reni about uh, how we pro process a large amount of, of data coming from, from the detectors. And beside that, uh, we, also, we also store quite a lot of data coming from logging and control system in our databases. And uh, this, this, this data basically looks, looks like this. It's a, it's a time series data uh, coming, fr coming from sensors and at a pretty high rate. So th this all goes down into our uh, relational database systems, uh, which perform quite well for, for given use cases. They, uh, <coughs> they are okay for, uh, for, insert, for, for very, very high frequency inserts and for retrieving data that uh, we pretty much uh, can pinpoint with, with indexes. But what we are missing is uh, are some analytics uh, capabilities. Uh, like uh, they don't they they don't even have to be very complex analytics. It's uh, it it could be for example that we would like to uh, apply new new threshold and test that on on the historical data, and that's already something that can be hard to do. Uh, so we decided to, to give a try to more distributed and uh, s technologies with, uh, with le less shared uh, infra infrastructure. Uh, we tried a Hadoop uh, together with Impala. Uh, and shortly after, we ran into a, a d decision to make what kind of, uh, in, in what format we would like to store, store the data. Uh, so we've tested several formats, and independently on what kind of format you choose, whether it's CSV, SQL file, or or uh, or some more complex like Avro or Parquet, uh, after applying compression, the the amount of of storage you need is is pretty much similar. Uh, b bigger differences arises when when it comes to e execution time. Then we have two clear winners that that Avra Parquet and Parquet perform really well. Uh, what's surprising is that Parquet, even though it's a columnar store, which shouldn't really, which is not really a beneficial for, for the kind of data we had, it's, it still performed quite, quite okay. <coughs> and then with, uh, with Impala, we don't have indexes, so the, the, main, uh, the main idea, the main, a uh, way we can tune the performance is, is partitioning. So uh, we, we tried uh, how, how, can we, how can we partition the data. And for us, partition, partitioning by, after partitioning by, by day, then partitioning data by, by signals wouldn't be really durable as we have million, millions of signals. Uh, <coughs> so uh, we, we decided, we, we tried some, some bucketing and uh, we, after applying a bucketing function, we, uh, <coughs> we were able to, uh, to, to do reasonable partitioning and uh, this partitioning could be, could be easily included in, uh, and into, uh, Impala <coughs> into Impala Planner. Uh, so to make it transparent and and to apply it with uh, when running SQL queries uh, w without uh, without necessarily having to specify the uh, the retrieval function and as as a conclusion I I could say that uh, the after some the test we conducted it's it seems like. Uh, Hadoop, Hadoop environment, and to, to paired with paired with Impala, it's uh, it's it, it could serve as well and and uh, improve our current infrastructure to, together with what we have already, and open it for further uh, further use cases. Uh, so, if you have any questions, uh, please come to me and and we can talk uh, at the poster.